All right, infernal blessings. <clears throat> we are back with another video. Uh, before I begin, a couple quick announcements. <clears throat> um, again, some of you guys are still reaching out to me for yearly forecast readings. Those readings are over. <clears throat> okay, I'm not doing any more yearly forecast readings. Uh, those will be done until we get into the end of November, going into December. Uh, I will start those back up, okay? So please don't uh, email me or reach out to me for a yearly forecast reading. That is over, all right? But if you're interested in any of the other type of readings I do offer, a telepathic demonic reading, uh, a Santa Muerte reading in the Spirits of the Dead, an Egyptian Oracle reading, a Shadow Work reading, uh, as I said before, Shadow Work reading is always good to kind of see where you're at currently in your life and what direction you should be going in. People also use it uh, to determine what kind of ritual work they should be doing at the current moment in their life. Um, deity readings to see what spirits, gods, goddesses, and demons walk with you. Any of the aforementioned, or maybe just interested in a spiritual consultation, and there's a certain area you want to focus on on your spiritual path, or maybe you have some questions. Some people just use it <clears throat> as an hour question and answer session with me to pretty much ask me whatever they want. Uh, for hours straight. So you can use that for whatever you want. Um, any of the aforementioned, shoot me an email at khnum19 at gmail.com. Also, if you want to sign up for classes, the way to do that is go to the official Primordial Chaos Patreon page, patreon.com um, forward slash Beniti, B A N I T I, tier three. That's the tier you want to join. Tier three gives you access to the three private classes I do every month on Patreon including the group ritual we do together at the end of the month. And keep in mind, when you join the Patreon, you don't just get access to the classes from the day you join moving forward. You get access to everything in the archive, which is going back four plus years now, all right? And you get access to all that ritual work, all that uh, work that is involved in all the classes. Now, if you go to my Patreon page, you'll see all the ongoing series, the continual ongoing series that I'm doing. Um, everything is archived. You go to the collection section, it's all labeled, categorized, and it's in numerical order. Uh, this month, uh, classes for March, we're going to be doing the um, Eastern Left Hand Path Norse Mythology and Runes class, Eastern Left Hand Path Occult class. Um, <clears throat> we will be doing a ritual, the Demonic Names of Power uh, ritual, which will take place at the end of the month, and Ancient Egyptian Vampiric class kicks off uh, next Thursday evening. So every month there's three classes, a ritual, um, and again, if you want to take your path to self-mastery to that next level, I'm showing you on the Patreon how to do that. I'm giving you the work to do it. It's not just talking and lecturing. You're, you're, you're shown how to do rituals. I talk about things in depth on Patreon that I would not talk openly on any social media platform like YouTube. Um, so definitely check that out. Patreon.com forward slash Beniti. B-A-N-I-T-I tier three. That's the tier you want to join. Don't forget to check out all the social media pages. It's uh, Primordial Chaos 9, all one word on Instagram. Uh, that's another uh, great platform to stay abreast of what I'm doing here at Primordial Chaos. Classes, updates, uh, I post everything on there. Also, the Primordial Chaos Facebook page. Two words on Facebook, Primordial Chaos. I also upload all the new YouTube content to the Facebook page. And yes, the TikTok page, the, the Primordial Chaos official TikTok page is slowly but surely gathering content. It's up and running, it's functioning, it's slowly but surely growing. And you can find us or find me on TikTok on Primordial Chaos, two words uh, on the TikTok page, which I'm uploading all announcements and updates there. So you've got uh, yeah, and then obviously here in the YouTube page in the community section. So you have uh, four different platforms to stay abreast of what I'm doing here on Primordial Chaos YouTube. Uh, so check any of those platforms out and support them. Don't also, uh, also don't forget to take uh, or check out, I'm sorry, the Primordial Chaos podcast, which is available on Spotify and all major podcast platforms. Okay, check that out. So again, if you want to reach out to me for a reading, my contact email address, along with the direct link to the podcast, 
along with the links to all the social media pages uh, and along with the link to the Primordial Chaos Patreon page to sign up for classes. All that is in the description box of this video. It's not going to be a long video. Um, I want to kind of talk about the other night. For those that are on the Patreon, uh, we did a ritual, the ritual of the Black Sun of Chaos, which was a very, uh, personally for me and a few of you guys have reached out to me in the last 48 hours, I've shared your experience and, and, and I kind of just wanted to briefly elaborate on that and I would encourage you, uh, if you're not, if you haven't done the ritual and you are a Patreon member, uh, the ritual is uploaded, it's archived. Go check that out. And I would encourage you to really perform or, 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 or do the ritual. Um, and again, remember, any of the rituals are open to change. Um, if you want to add to or make adjustments, feel free. The ritual was centered on going back into that state of nothingness, right? Uh, I'm not going to get all in depth into the entirety of the ritual, but we went in that ritual back into nothingness because in order to have something first we all manifested from that nothingness or that darkness and then we took that ritual our point of origin into the dark watery chaos abyss of the womb of our mothers so there was a part of the ritual where we did a visualization going through all this uh, man we like the, the ritual literally starts out in darkness there's a representation of the three suns, uh, the what we call the sun, which is responsible for everything in in existence and what we what we know as territory or earthly creation. The demonic sun, uh, of, or the black sun of the demonic abode, and the central sun that resides within. And we, long story short, we kind of bring and connected those three suns which is the black suns of chaos right but the point i want to elaborate on that we we all have to understand all of us are children sons and daughters of chaos okay contrary to what belief system you come from or came from and i'm also even talking to maybe newer people that stumble across this channel and don't understand what it is we do this false concept that has been spoon-fed to us for many years through many systems of indoctrination. The ritual and the understanding of this information is to take you out of that mindset. You don't have to agree with what everything with the occult and the left-hand path is about, and not everybody is going to. That's just life, and any system, nobody's going to agree with 100%. But the reality is, in these lesser systems, you're taught to suppress who you really are. When you when you come and you're birthed from pure chaos, which all of us are, you're taught to ignore this other side or duality of your nature that is a very aggressive, some term it dark. It's a warrior side of your nature. You'll hear that term too. Oh, it's like the rain's coming in. Right? All these different terms that you're taught to suppress in other spiritual systems, meditate it away, pray it away, don't tap into your dark side, right? Ignore the shadow of the hidden self. Don't address the weaknesses. Of, well, there's a, there's a very aggressive, dark warrior side of your nature. Being the sons and daughters and the children of chaos, being that you come from the origin or point of that state of darkness, and as I've said many times before, darkness is not an evil thing. Only religious and religious dogmas portray it as such. Because even, I tell religious folks over the years, even your Bible confirms that your monotheistic God existed in darkness. All you got to do is read Genesis chapter 1, the first several verses. It confirms, it says, God's spirit roamed across the face of the void and the deep. And this is all before he said, let there be light. You too come from that void, from that darkness, from that deep state of nothingness that has no parameters, no boundaries, no limitations. And I know what you're thinking. The next thing you quite well, how did I come into existence? The further understanding of that or above the standing of that is through your ritual work. 
through tr again traveling outside of this three-dimensional realm understanding of person place or thing so you want me to give you an answer or you want others over the years to give you a simple answer to that like poof there was some mystical force or being that that controlled all this and that's just not the case it's hard for you to understand that you brought yourself into existence because it's crazy for you because you've been so programmed to think that there's some spook force called God, Jehovah, Yahweh, Elo, Allah, whatever you want to refer to it as, that was responsible for this because it's easier, it's easier that way. And then you, as I said in previous videos prior to this, recent videos, then you start to embrace and accept the more mortal or mortality side of your nature than the divinity or the divine or the godlike or goddess-like aspect of your nature. When you go into the ancient pyramid text, it talks about the tar bringing himself into existence. What is that talking about? What I'm trying to tell you is along the line with that concept. You may not get it now. But a lot of you who are getting it through your ritual work understand that you always were. Okay? Stop thinking that you're some new being of creation. You're getting confused with your physical manifestation and you're getting that totally mixed up with your spiritual or etheric manifestation, which is, as we say, beings of pure light and energy. And energy can what? Not be destroyed. So you've always been here. You've just forgotten when you how when you took on the vessel of the body that you reside in at this current moment, you adopted and took on more of the mortal ways more and then didn't retain a lot of the divinity that naturally resided within you. So you got lost in this spiritual vessel or body that you're in right now. So you think you're Phil, Rick, Keisha, Karen, whoever. You've started to adapt that persona and you believe because you've been programmed through three dimensional things of person, place, and thing and religions and dogmas that fall under line of uh, under threes, ABCs, and person, places, and things. And all monotheistic religions do, especially the main three, Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. Okay? That ritual was to show you, you have always been here. Okay? You are the sons and daughters and the children of chaos. That primordial chaos whence all things emerged. And if you did perform that ritual, reflect back when we were in pure silence and darkness. What it felt like not to be attached to all the things in the physical world that weigh you down. Personal problems. Money problems blockages, issues. If you were really zoned in, now you might have tapped into some serious emotional stuff, especially the part when we were going through the womb of our mother in the dark, chaotic, watery abyss. That was emotional for some people because some people tapped into the emotional connection, good or bad, that they had with their mother. And not everybody had a good connection. So some felt the pain, the different influx of emotions of themselves and their connect or disconnect with their mother. Some of you, such as myself, who had a great relationship with my mother, it was a, a very uplifting emotional experience. It was very, you, you, you felt like you were home, right? Because as I've said before, I don't care how old you get, you never forget when you were in that dark, chaotic, warm, watery abyss in the womb of your mother. Because to this day as an adult, you could be sitting on a recliner or a couch or laying in your bed. We all have a habit of turning on our sides and what? And going into the fetal position. Because you never, your subconscious mind never forgets. And that's when you were connected strong to the womb of your mother, when you were in that fetal position. And think about when you do it, whether you're cold or you're trying to get comfortable, you might lay to the side, put your hands between your legs, or you put your hands up like this on the side. You do that because you never forgot how you entered this realm. You never forgot. Regardless of, because some of you might go, well, I had a bad relationship, well, it doesn't matter. She still was responsible for birthing you into this realm. 
And that happened prior to all of the physical things that happened when you got here. The disconnect you might have had with your mother. And then for, for those of us who didn't have that issue, such as myself, I had an outstanding relationship with my mother. Loved my mother to death. And I to have no respect for people who have good mothers and, a, and, and don't treat them with respect. Especially, I lost my mother at a young age. Especially some of you who do have good relationships with your mother, okay? And you don't cultivate those relationships because remember, they're not going to be here forever, okay? So take advantage of the time you have here with them. Because it's, it's like any old adage in life. Sometimes so, when you have something good in your life, whether that's a person, place, or a thing, sometimes you don't appreciate it until it's gone. Okay? But the ritual was, was uh, very important in the sense that it really tapped us in. Not to our beginnings, right? Because I don't use that word. Because when you say when you say there's a beginning to something you have automatically stabbed the ending onto something and that creates a little confusion and chaos okay it helps you understand your point of origin and i described that to you guys that were at the ritual this past friday night it taps you into your origin your point of origin okay this is important to understand because it demystifies this spook shit that poof, something happened and God said poof and people just appeared. Because the Bible don't even confirm that. The Bible says it took seven days to create and, and then God was so tired on the seventh day he had to rest. It's just stupidity, pure fucking stupidity. Okay? If you understand in the ancient Egyptian concept of Huhi and Hu, the creative force of will, this is you get this greater understanding in your meditation and your ritual work. Now, the creative force of will is not some deity, not some old god man in the sky. See, the problem is with some of these concepts beyond the physical or metaphysical concepts, people get stuck like Chuck. Because they, this is what I mean when you still get trapped in person, place, or thing. So anything of a spiritual nature, there has to be a most high God or divine being that you're inferior to that is responsible for all this. And this is where you get stuck like Chuck. You don't want to accept that you are a being of light and energy. You are a, a frequency of energy that can speed up at a rapid vi vibration and take on an energy form and slow its vibrational frequency down and take on a human form. It's hard for you to grasp that. The understanding is if what force in nature makes that happen that you're connected to. Because it's nature itself that is responsible for all of these things that we're attributing to a spook or spirit God. I know this is hard for you to grasp. Because you're getting the main question. You, you, want to, you want to answer from a three-dimensional understanding. Well, how is that? The person that questions that comes from a very mortal mind state. Okay? Myself and nobody else can explain that to you word for word. That's something you're going to have to come to the realization of yourself. See, the other problem I've said many times before on this path, people come into spiritual systems thinking they're going to buy their salvation, think they're going to buy their divinity and their godhood. They think they're going to come up under some system, something or somebody, and they're going to get all the answers to the mysteries of the universes. And they think all they got to do is pay the fee or join the group or read a certain specific uh, books here and there, and all of a sudden, voila, they're fucking super gurus and masters now. Not the case, folks. Sorry to bust your bubble. Okay? A real god or goddess stands firm on their power. Fam stands firm on their knowledge, their wisdom, and their understanding. And they exercise that knowledge via their wisdom to show that understanding. Yeah, I got a little 5% nation on you there. Yeah, I did. I'm guilty of it. But that's facts. And as I said before, the 5% 5 5 nation 
of gods and earths. They may not look at it like that, but they are very occult, left-hand path, Luciferian in nature because they deal with high forms of apotheosis, self-mastery. They don't believe in a spook god, right? They believe they are God, very similar to what we deal with, folks, no different. Just we might get more occult and metaphysical in it. And like I said to this day, and I want to make this disclaimer, I do not claim to belong, you know, to uh, uh, as an enrolled listed member of the 5% nation anymore, because I'm not, right? I don't, I don't belong, uh, you know, to any particular uh, region, All right? This is my own uh, opinion on because I, because coming from that origin years back, I have the ultimate respect for the gods and the earths. They may not see eye to eye to them, they may not see eye to eye with me, but that's okay. So, I say that with no disrespect, it's just where I'm at in my spiritual growth, I have a whole different understanding. On, that's the brain coming down, that noise, all who father the law was. And I'm going to do another short video on that. But anyway, not to sidetrack. But I, I wanted to touch on this real quick, and I'm going to wrap this up in a minute or two. Understand, darkness is not a bad thing. When you truly understand what it is, not what you're being programmed to be told. Oh, that's all evil. That's that devil stuff. You're into the occult. I'm not into any of that stuff. That's that programming and dogma you see on the internet and social media platforms and movies. Okay. I don't teach the aspect of the occult and left-hand path. Not everybody on the occult and the left-hand path uh, is subscribed to satanic church teachings, right? That's one of many aspects of the left-hand path and the occult, okay? I don't teach that dogmatic aspect of the occult on the left-hand path. It's a path of self-mastery. It's a path of spiritual sovereignty and liberation. That's what I teach. And I want to also make this clear. I don't teach hate regardless of I might have strong opinions on religion. But you never ever hear me criticize anything or anybody about race, sexual preference, or gender. Okay? You, you could have your own opinion on it. Everybody's entitled uh, to, to how they feel about any of those things. But in the, in the spectrum of truth, all of those things are irrelevant. Because you could debate that forever. Now, I have my stance on certain things like that. But you can have a stance on certain things. It doesn't mean you're a hateful person. It doesn't mean you're teaching hate. Because nowadays with cancel culture, you have to be careful because everybody's quick to cancel you if you don't agree with the mainstream opinion. And that also goes against everything that this country, America, stands for freedom of speech, right? There's two ways to look at those things. But anyway, I don't want to turn it into just just quick thought that came to mind. But again, to wrap it up, darkness is not a bad thing when you understand that silence, that darkness, that state of nothingness. Because as I've said before, a basic metaphysical concept is in order for you to have something first or the sum of a thing, you must have nothing or no thing first. Yes, and the English language played on those words 100%. That's the point I'm getting you to see. You came from that nothingness. That space of silence and infinite darkness is where all primordial chaotic energy emerged from. Okay? That's where you came from. Don't let nobody fool you. Okay? Regardless of your religious belief, you can't escape that. That's the truth. That's the reality. I don't care what spiritual system you you subscribe to, okay? Anyway, having said that, I'm going to leave it there. Got to make a quick pit stop. Uh, so hopefully this short piece of info, again, gave you some endarkment, right? Instead of enlightenment, right? That's not saying that. I think I'll start using that word, endarkment. It's going to be my new word. Frontal blessings. And much spiritual and darkman. Yeah, there we go. Um, but anyway, if you want to learn more, if you're interested in further, if 
you want to know about that ritual, uh, there's what we do on Patreon. Check out the Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Beniti. This type of ritual work we do, just to give you an example of what I just kind of talked about, went through there. If this interests you, I got 41 plus, 42 plus rituals and counting. That's just the monthly group rituals. That don't count the ritual work in the class. Believe me, you will be busy for years with the amount of ritual and spiritual work on my Patreon page. And again, I don't say that out of arrogance. I say it out of confidence. And again, nobody is offering what, what I'm offering for what I am offering it for. I'll put, I'll put the bank on that, as they say. Trust me when I tell you that. Believe that. Check it out for yourself. It speaks for itself. All right? Other than that, if you need to reach out to me for a spiritual reading, consultation, my contact email address, along with the links to all the social media pages, along with the direct link to the Primordial Chaos podcast, and along with the direct link for the classes to sign up, uh, the official Primordial Chaos Patreon page link. All of that is in the description box of this video you're watching right now. So I want to say... Fertile blessings and spiritual endarkment to you all. That's going to be my new thing. Spiritual endarkment to you all. We out.